what is going on everybody so i had an excellent question come up by somebody uh they want to stay anonymous but i think it's a great idea so i want to put it to the test so what we got going on today is the same method we we've been using for our silver right we've got salt not iodized citric acid and hydrogen peroxide we'll use a little distilled water as well but on today's episode <laughs> sorry i had to we are got gold plated pins now this is just a handful because this is just a little test right i just want to see if this works we can upsize this if need be if it does work um, but I want to save my pins for my sulfuric cell because I really want to try that. So we're just going to give this a shot with a handful of pins. I've been doing some uh, uh, CD-ROMs and I'll tell you what, those are my least favorite thing to scrap so far. But there's a couple of goodies in there that we can go for. Uh, looks like they got some nice pins. So let's give this a whirl. And we're going to start with a little bit of distilled water because we know that if I do just a little bit or if I do too much hydrogen peroxide, we're going to get a boil over. And I just gave you guys a boil over, so I think we're good on that for at least a month. Uh, you can tell me here in the comments. All right, what else do we need for this project? Spoon. I'm gonna start with one teaspoon of salt-ish, give or take a little bit. Two tablespoons of citric acid. That's a big tablespoon. It's a big clump. I don't want that. There we go. One. And we'll do a little smaller one because that is big. Two. And somebody said we were making some kind of soda with it, with just this. So we want to add the spicy stuff. Get that out of the way, which would be our hydrogen peroxide. Add just a splash, and maybe a little bit more. I'd say that's roughly 25 mils. <clears throat> and a good stir. And we're gonna kept, keep this separate. All right. For the experiment. Would you look at that? All cleaned up, ready to roll. It does have a copper stain or two though, so sorry about that. Put this back on here. Heat plate. And turn it up. I'm not going up to what my normal temperature would be. I'm gonna go halfway there, so shouldn't boil, uh, at least from the heat. There's a possibility that it'll boil on its own. And we can tell for sure because of how clean that is. <laughs> Alright, well, I'll keep you guys posted. We'll see how well this works. Alright, and it's been a couple of minutes here. And we can see that color change coming in quite nice. See the little bit of green coming off all the pins. So, I think this will do just fine. We'll uh, let it do its thing and get back to you here in a little bit. Alright, so this might be a little too soon yet, but I want to see if we have anything floating around yet. Oh yeah, there's a couple of gold foils in there floating around already. Let's see if I can zoom in here. I'm floating. It's probably been 15 minutes, I'd say. Not very long. 
perfect. Well, giving her a shot, been, uh, I'd say 20 minutes so far. Just a couple of them in there, but you can see the gold flakes floating already. All right, let's take a peek here. The reaction seems to be just about done here. So I'm thinking AP is still the better method with this. Um, just because the AP continuously works and I imagine it would work a, a lot better for a big batch. But this would work if you have small amounts of pins you want to do at a very small rate. Let's see here. As we can see there's plenty of gold foils. Well, let's add a little bit more water. I want to do this quickly so that uh, those crystals stay in solution. A little bit of H2O2. Should have prepared for this a little better. Some citric acid. And some salt. Might as well finish this batch off here, huh? Give it a good stir. And back on the heat plate it goes. All right, let's pour these bad boys out and see what we have for filters. Or uh, foils, not filters. And just like that, it works really well. I still think the AP is better. Um, you know, I didn't do, I could have probably done a third one, but you can see there's still some solids left in there. But uh, yeah, I mean, that works surprisingly well. Cheap, efficient. I still think AP is uh, the better option though. And uh, no sense of putting this small amount of gold into Aqua Regia. So I'll just save this. I'll put it in my filter bin and uh, We'll collect those tiny little foils when it comes to filter time. Hey, what's going on, guys? So, I really like this method um, for what it is. Hands down, AP is the king, right? But there may be a couple of instances where, well, I guess I can only think of one right now. I'm sure you guys can think of, think of other ones. Uh, I know there's... <laughs> uh, anyways... So the only thing that I could think of where this would be really helpful is for people that either can't get hydrochloric acid um, or just don't feel safe dealing with the harsher chemicals. As where you're just dealing with salt, citric acid, and some hydrogen peroxide. And as we kind of experienced, the 3% is, is way better and way cheaper, at least what I've found so far. You don't have to babysit it as much with the boil overs. Um, but this may help you guys out if you can't get that, get it, can't get a hold of that stuff, or don't want to get a hold of that stuff. You know, just for safety reasons. Um, so maybe we do a experiment, start to finish, and uh, we could do gold pins or, you know, gold fingers. I got stack is growing, and I just do a couple of them just to kind of get the uh, the process down. You know, I, I kind of want to save those for uh, a big batch but yeah let me know if that's something you'd be interested in seeing and then same thing with the dissolving the gold uh I, I mean i don't think this method will dissolve the gold well it clearly won't but um you know if we got to do the whole vinegar salt or vinegar method and then you hit to, to dissolve the gold then you got basically a whole um 
whole process, which I suppose the vinegar method will kill the base metals too. I don't know, whatever you guys want to see. If you're interested in that, let me know. If not, we've got way, a lot of other projects going on. So um, actually just wrapping up right now with the nitric boils on the Gold Corner BGAs. So that should be coming out relatively soon. I'm hoping to get it in AR tonight and drop the gold. Well, yeah, AR tonight, drop the gold tonight, and then clean up the gold tomorrow. And uh, so I'm thinking tomorrow's Thursday. Mm, I might have enough time to get it out Thursday. So we'll see if everything goes good. So uh, Friday's video, subscriber video. Uh, if you want to send some stuff in, go ahead, send it in. Definitely interested to see what you guys got. Anything from lab equipment, uh, lab setups, you know, e-waste collections, you know, refining projects, anything like that. If you want to go ahead and send it in, uh, you get, you're part of the monthly drawing for, for the Friday's, uh, subscriber videos. Um, and that's coming up. We're coming up to the end of October. So Send those in if you're interested in. And if you're interested in winning silver, we've got the membership still. So we just got five. We did the, uh, we, we sent out that uh, milestone. That was a one ounce silver round. But I've got five. So now their percentage is at 20. Now we get one or two and the percentage goes up, right? Because now there's more, well, there's less people in each bracket. So. I don't know. Five is a good number for me, but if we get a better number, it's good for you. Or if we get more, you get a higher percentage of getting silver, which is better for you. There we go. That's kind of what I meant to say. But <laughs> all right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.